Well, hi, Mark. So, Disaster Artist is about the best worst movie ever, called The Room. And it's really about a kind of almost inspirational story about how it got made and the relationship between the two main actors in it, Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau. And it's really an excellent movie and one of the funniest movies of the year. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Just kidding. That was a clip from The Room. Here is an actual clip of the trailer from The Disaster Artist. Malevolent presence. You are a perfect villain. I could see you as Dracula, Frankenstein. I'm not Frankenstein. I'm hero. Them job, I give them salary. I'm gonna spend five million dollars on this movie, Greg. Five? Are you kidding me? Five million dollars? And they are not grateful. Nobody respects my vision. So going into this, I have seen The Room more than once. And I've watched a lot of videos about other people talking about it. And I will say that if you haven't seen The Room, you can still watch uh, The Disaster Artist and really enjoy it. You know, because you don't have to know The Room to enjoy this movie. However, when you, you probably won't believe that this is a real story about a real movie if you haven't ever seen a clip from The Room. And, uh, I mean, so you, you, so you'll just think it's a funny movie about a fake movie. And, you know, some of the stuff may not be as funny. Like, I know when I watched it, I laughed probably more than other people in the theater because I know what the clips are from. But if you don't want to have a homework assignment for a movie and watch another movie that's pretty bad, even though it's really funny, I would recommend just watching maybe uh, a review of it on YouTube or something like that. Because um, I know there are some great uh, videos about The Room, and uh, I'll link some of them down in the description down there. And you can uh, maybe check them out if you've never seen The Room, but you want to get an idea of what you're getting into. And I think it will really help with seeing like, a, a shorter uh, video about The Room, instead if, if you don't want to watch the whole thing. And I will say, if you do watch The Room before this, I, the, the first like 20-30 minutes might make you think that this is like a softcore porn movie just because of really bad sex scenes and like, that's like that's a really one of the really most interesting and kind of like more disturbing parts of the disaster artist movie because you see that's kind of when time is old kind of go, turns a little evil even though i'm not bad guy i as hero not villain i can't really do it with uh with so voice but um, you know, the actual Disaster Artist movie is really good. Um, especially James Franco as Tommy. Like, his impersonation and whatever they did to change his face, like, is perfect. I mean, it's really, really good. The only thing, though, Dave Franco, like, is that, you know, James Franco's brother and he plays Greg, like, the best friend of Tommy in the movie. He, he didn't try to really impersonate him at all. I mean, maybe a little bit when he was filming it really just felt like it was Dave Franco with a weird beard. You know, it, Dave Franco really only plays Dave Franco. He can't really, he's not that great of an actor. He can't really do anything other than himself. But, I mean, it works for this role. Although, I, I noticed one thing is that in the, between the two characters, Tommy is a lot, uh, he's really short. And, uh, you know, uh, James Franco is taller than his brother. So, it, doesn't, it looks a little different when they're next to each other. The, the height difference, that doesn't really matter. So the movie is about these two friends that meet in the acting class in San Francisco, and then they go to Hollywood to try to make their dreams come true. And, you know, it's a relatively common storyline, except for the fact that one of those people is uh, Tommy Wiseau, and he has a lot of money that no one knows where it came from. He is, no one knows how old, and he says he's from New Orleans, but he's obviously, like, an Eastern European. And he may be a vampire. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, it's not a normal person. Like, I don't think there's anyone else like him in the world. And, uh, like, you know, he the, the going to the acting, like, the one guy, you know, Greg Sestero, he, you know, looks kind of like a model a little bit, even though he's not a great actor. So he gets 
some, you know, uh, uh, he, you know, he gets some success and then none because they, when they find out he can't really act. And Tommy can't get any success because of how he looks and how he talks. So they decide to make their own movie, The Room. And, you know, Tommy uh, writes it, directs it, produces it. And it's so creepy that everything they do, they, like, you know, they buy the camera. They buy two cameras instead of renting them. And they just kind of throw money at everything. And it's just that, like, he's making a real Hollywood movie. He wants to try to make, you know. And there's, there's so many great moments in the, this movie. And, you know, it's just it's so much funny moments, but also some heartwarming moments. And also some, a lot of cringy moments. And there are times where you say, you know, that when their relationship starts to break down, like, you know, that it reflects on how he treats everyone else on the movie set. And I know, like, there's this one um, YouTuber I follow that talks about, like, he's um, worked in film, and he talks about how during those scenes in the movie, it really kind of brought back, like, a little bit almost PTSD from some of the horrible film sets he's worked on. And that was just really interesting. And almost, I would have liked some more of that stuff. But I feel like, watching this movie, I feel like I really want to read the book. And I'm probably going to order and read it coming up. Because I think that there's more to it. Like, there's even more crazy stuff that the movie didn't show. And I will say that Tommy has said that this movie is like 99% true. But he said the book was only 50% true. And I have a feeling that the book put him in a little bit more of a negative light. And the film kind of has him in a little more positive light. There's still some negative stuff. But, I mean, it's relatively positive light in this in this movie. And I see why they did it like that. But it's just kind of interesting. I really want to see the book to see what, you know, if you, the other side of it, kind of. Even though that's this is kind of inspired by the book and the real life. There's just so many great little moments throughout it. To be like, you'll see things that, like... They are so goofy in the movie, and you kind of see, like, how they happened. Like, in the end, the room movie, you kind of see how they happened in this movie. Like, little bits of it, and how they're like, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll film it like that. And there's so many great, really funny moments that, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure they'll be funny even if you didn't see the room. But they're definitely funny if you know of, of the room. And it's, it's a really funny movie that I thoroughly enjoyed. And I would highly recommend. Like, and it's it's just it's a really funny movie that is a little bit of heartwarming. I mean, a little bit of like you know, I mean, these people, these guy, like he did something that's almost impossible to do. And and now even though he spent like six million dollars on this thing, like it's made a profit. You know, the film came out like like fourteen years ago, but it's still being talked about. It's still like having like uh, special events. You know, uh, and it's, you know, that's impressive. You know, most movies, like I said, like, if you, uh, whoever, whatever won the uh, Oscar that year, I mean, I'm sure uh, isn't being talked about like The Room is. And, I mean, it's a really interesting, like, kind of film history sort of thing about this best, worst movie ever. And I would definitely recommend it. I'd probably give it, like, an 8.75 or maybe a 9 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. Check out the other replays around my head. Subscribe to me over here. Thanks.